So here we have the uh, the Drake RV3. It's based on a remote via VFO. It has an internal speaker for the TR3 and also the uh, AC3 power supply that runs the, uh, the transceiver. I find tuning to be very smooth. The fan's not in the greatest condition, but the guy's a little high in the band. So, so find another station. This here, the RF tune picks a signal. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch the uh, VFO off, or just put the transmit only, which, which means now we're running on the uh, this VFO over here, and the one that's on the radio, I'm going to go down to the CW portion of the band, or so. You can hear the receiver is getting quiet. What we do is we pick the receiver with a tune. Oh, I'll get it over. Here we go. Really a lovely, uh, lovely setup. This this uh, station looks brand new to me. I mean, it's it's in immaculate condition. It works great. I love the audio quality. Um, uh, I don't know what can I say. You guys have a solid S9 peaking 20, 30 over, as you can see on the uh, S meter over here. I anyway, just thought I'd give you a little quick uh, view of the TR3, uh, one of Drake's uh, early uh, uh, transceivers. Right here I'm going to uh, give a quick demonstration of a beautiful Drake TR3 and matching RV3. Um, right now we're turning into 3.850, 75 meters, this is some lower sideband. And uh, just just for fun, compare it to my K3 receive. I mean, obviously there's not really much of a comparison. We're talking, you know, 1960s technology versus uh, 2012-13. Today's uh, August 24th, 2013. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flick over the uh, AB switch, put the antenna onto the uh, K3. I got the lid off once. There's the K3. But of course the K3 has um, you know, the ability to adjust the tonal quality and add more bass and things like that, so it uh, has a slightly different uh, sound to it, but K3 is a wonderful rig. I'm going to switch back to the, uh, to the um, TR3, the Drake. I have the RF gain down a little bit on the Drake, but it looks like the guy's peaking 20 to, to 40 over right there. Back on the K3, yeah, it's speed about 20 to 40 as well as you can see in the meter. Call it 30 anyhow. So very, very comparable. I didn't set that up on purpose. It just happened to uh, to work out that way.